For today's recipe, we'll be cooking elk pot roast. A lot of people, when they get elk butchered, will find that this stuff here will still be on the meat. And this is, you know, the connective tissue. Some people call it silver skin. Um, elk fat, unlike cow fat, uh, doesn't taste quite as good. So what I like to do, especially for people that are more finicky, I like to cut all that stuff off. So anything that doesn't look like awesome meat that I'd want to eat, I just kind of trim that away from the meat. Now this here is a round steak, which would be similar to like, you know, a sirloin steak from a cow. Now the nice thing about this recipe is you can just throw it in the crock pot, leave the house, and be gone for, you know, five, six hours and come back and have a perfect home cooked meal. Just getting all that silver skin, all that fat off every edge. So in the end, all of it should look like this. Just perfect, clean, nothing on it. Just good meat go in the crock pot. Let's get the next step. We are going to season these guys like crazy. Now I like to use Cajun seasoning because I like a little bit of a kick, but I'm gonna ask to throw in some garlic. They kind of pat that into them. Toss some of those in the crock pot here. They'll come off the meat relatively easy in the crock pot, sure, but I like to add it in there. Then we're gonna add a whole onion. Boom. Boom, a couple of cloves of garlic. Boom, and our gravy boat of broth. Be sure your roast is completely submerged in the broth and then cook it for four and a half hours on low heat. After the four and a half hours is up, add your potatoes and carrots and cook for an additional five hours. Now your meat should be tender and ready to eat. Oh yeah, I think the best part about coming home to this is the fact that you can literally smell the whole house and I'm sure it tastes good. All right, let me explain to you right now. If you have someone who's like, uh, I'm not sure about eating wild game, I don't think I'm gonna like it, not for me, make them try this. I honestly feel like I almost don't do the elk justice because it tastes so much like cow. Eating it this way, taking off all that silver skin, doing the extra prep work, throwing it in the crock pot, it's gonna take any bad flavor away and just leave the robust, pure protein that is elk meat. Try it, you're gonna love it. All of our other recipes can also be found on thegreenwayoutdoors.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and stay green.